What's up, guys? Welcome back to Go Off Sis. This is Cassidy. I'm Danielle. And I'm Lexi. <laughs> See, you guys don't know how to function without me being second. Because you're so adamant that you have to be second. <laughs> it's in my brain. I wonder when people are going to get annoyed that we argue every time we start an episode. Right. It's true. Right. Probably yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. So anyway, welcome Anywho. back. It's, <laughs> sisterhood is great. We're always happy. And we fun. love having sisters. <laughs> uh-huh. And this episode is all about fall. So we really want to embody you guys with fall vibes right now. Yeah. We mm-hmm. want you to be a big orange pumpkin when you leave this episode. Exactly. Huh? So light a candle and get ready. Yeah. Walk in. Get oh, your- that sounds so nice. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. a nice little like fall candle. Yeah. Do you guys have a fall yep. candle scent that you've get like every always. year not yeah. every year but i went to aldi this year and they're cheap dude i got like huge candles for four dollars yeah. from Ooh. aldi i okay. love aldi candles yeah. just because yeah. they're cheap and mm-hmm. they smell okay well like i got a, like the same size candle from tj maxx last year and it was literally twenty dollars mm. mm, that's expensive yeah mm-hmm. maybe it was like 15 Danielle, so. do you have a candle that you're just can't live without this fall <laughs> well brett and i have a tradition when the first like cold weather day hits even though it like got kind of cold and then it got like 90 degrees in Michigan when it got cold we went and we go and buy this specific candle it's like a hazelnut smell um and we get it every fall so I already got it like three weeks ago when it was kind of cold and I've been lighting it it feels so good yeah I feel like candles are for fall yeah they really are I think white pumpkin is like a classic one I love. Yeah. I feel oh. like that's a really big one. I've never heard of a white pumpkin smell. What? I don't know about white how does pumpkin. It, how is it different than what orange? Makes it white? So can we not hate on me right now? <laughs> what may, I'm just curious. We just what, started. We're two minutes what, in, bro. What makes it white? I don't, you know. Okay, so you go to a store and they sell pumpkins. They artificially make them probably, but you know there's white pumpkins. They, I think they're natural. They grow white. I think they're natural. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. They just they're make part it of like the gourd. sugary smell. The g- part of the like, gourd, I, Familia. I identify as a gourd. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I think it's a little bit sweeter than like if it's just like mm. pumpkin scented. It's a little bit cinnamony maybe. I have a question. See. When you open an, a white pumpkin, okay. is it white inside? Bro. Probably. It's probably white like... Um, strings Guts. yeah instead of orange do you think yeah let's do here's it another fall. question when you open a pumpkin oh, how are you removing the guts with hands. one of the scraper things okay All hands so Lexi Yank. just hands. said hands ew Grip. it gets under your nails oh wow well. dang well you, you do you gloves. do have built-in claws you have built-in scrapers i do yeah. I actually need to get my nails done really bad, so let's not look at Why them. are you asking? Because Lexi uses her hands? No, I was just curious. I have yet to, like, nail a good pumpkin gutting technique. Mm. Every time I open a pumpkin, I look at it, and I'm like, I don't know what to do mm. from yeah. here. I, I think a combo of hands first and then scoop yeah. is probably my Scooping go-to. Scooping is for the nitty-gritty. Hands is for the overall, like, It's so slimy that I feel like I actually can't grab it because it all, like, slides out of my <laughs> hands. Yeah, it is actually kind of like that. It, like, I, I literally can't. That's I why know. the scraper, you can, like, cut it almost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say an unpopular opinion. I actually don't know if this is... It, this might be a popular opinion. I don't like carving pumpkins. I like... I like painting pumpkins. Like I oh. like to decorate a pumpkin yeah. and like make it cute. But carving is so much work in my mm-hmm. opinion. It's hard. And I feel like to make it actually look good is really hard. Yeah. Because well, it just first, falls apart if you get too intricate. And uh, first of all, what do you do with the pumpkin when it goes bad? I know it's just throw it away, but I hate that phase. Yeah. You can throw it in the woods and the deer eat it. That's Ugh. what I do at my oh house. Oh my gosh. One year someone smashed my pumpkins. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember that. On your yeah. porch. On my porch. Well, it was like November 15 or something. Cassidy, so it that's was too long. Sorry. That's, I was that's like, not, that's Christmas long. time. I'm pretty sure I had a pumpkin till December. Oh, yeah. I think your pumpkin stayed on your porch. I think Charlie took care of them. <laughs> <laughs> but things Probably. in our yard just disappear. It's just Charlie. Mm. Yeah. Except that wasp's nest is still there. Oh. Oh. So. Well, he's a little bit so much. There. Well, Charlie's afraid of like bees. Did you ever there, hear his wasp it's story? It's extinct. Like there's no, it's like extinct. It's what do exterminated. I, yeah. Mm. That's probably the word I was looking for. It's when, literally like destroyed. Like yeah. there's pieces everywhere. I think normally he would, but wasp star is one thing that he's like really scared of. Cause he got like attacked when he was younger. Like Aww. I think he got like 15 to 20 like stings. Cause like a, a like thing, a nest dropped like right by him, mm. him and his friend Tyler both like were sprinting mm. and they got like attacked. So he's like very afraid. 
that will scar was. you. I, was, I would be terrified. Do not remember when that happened to me. But I don't think it was that because I was present and it wasn't like, oh, we got attacked. It was like, yes, oh, it there's. it was. You guys were running away and Lindsay was yelling at me to run and whore like to zigzag. And mom literally was hitting of wasps course. off of me with her shirt. Are you being for real? Of course, yes. Lindsay had you a know, plan. I think what happened I was I yeah. sprinted so you never fast. Looked back. Did not look back. I remember. Cassidy and was like Olympic fast. It was like, I, I don't think the nest fell near me. I think somehow someone irritated it because we were geocaching. Remember when that was a thing? Yeah. yeah. And it they all just swarmed and then came at me. And then you oh. and Lindsay sprinted yelling and Lindsay was yelling at me to run in zigzag lines and mom was like hitting me with her shirt to make sh- like to get them off yeah of me. Mm. and we were on a bike ride too, yeah so, so i still had the bike three miles home after getting yeah. back <laughs> that's that's why i am the way i that's am that's trauma it's grit Truly. that's why lexi's yep gritty, gritty resilient yeah yep um so Speaking, shall we talk about fall things yeah. yeah but first before we talk about like this future fall or the current fall that we're in okay. i want to talk about like our past falls and our family traditions that we did mm-hmm. so speaking of pumpkin carving we i actually don't know exactly what year this started but pretty much every year our family hosts a pumpkin decorating contest the keyword is decorating it's not just carving mm-hmm. it started as pumpkin carving though and then started it started as decorating started as carving mm-hmm. it started sometime when i was in high school i was in high school I was late high, high school, so maybe, yes, maybe it was like Fresh, my senior I year. Freshman. So I was in um, elementary school. Yeah. So yeah, Lexi so. was in the cradle, goo goo gaga. Goo goo gaga. But we've done this pretty much every single year. Um, and this year it's up for debate on who's hosting. So, yeah, you so, host it every year. I don't know why you're saying that. I have a child. And oh, I <laughs> don't be one of those. No, bro. no, I'm not going to be one of those. I'm just going to be one of those while my well, baby is less than two months old. No, no, no. But wouldn't you rather be at your house than you have to travel somewhere? Do you know how much work it is to prep mm, this thing? I have true. to rent tables and chairs. Okay. okay. So maybe okay. have someone else be in charge of it. But your house is the hosting area. I actually oh. would be happy to do that. Okay. See? Okay. So, so you're in charge. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I just made the plan. I texted mom. I said mom should host this I've year. I've been trying to speak literally for like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I am not even joking. <laughs> like I would girl, love chime for in, you guys to shut up. I've been saying. I literally have been saying. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Not not enough strength <laughs> to get in the I'm combo. I'm not gritty enough. Yeah. I can't breathe. I didn't get attacked by wasps, so I'm not gritty I've enough. Been watching. Yeah. I know. I heard watching. it too. I was like, "What's that oh, little noise oh, so over in the ate, corner?" You. Hurt I, me and ignored me. I know she was trying to talk, but I was like, man, I still got things to yeah, say. Yeah, me too. I was like, well, it's really that important. Well, She'll speak a little louder. If, if what I ha- what I had to say though could have prevented your whole conversation, because basically, I was gonna say I felt like Danielle has kind of taken over the contest, and it's kind of become Danielle's event and not so much like the family event, which is fine uh, yeah. because I don't think Mom would have continued hosting it. So yeah. it's like fun that you took it over, but I feel like it's be- become you and your friends and like our family too. Yeah. But I feel like it's become your event. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I don't really feel like someone else could host it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And I, you bring the extra people. Like, okay. I'll do really it. I'll do it. have like no, no, no. extra people. The, the thing is though, you have a kid, you don't have to host it, but I'm just saying it would be weird for anyone else to host it at this point. I don't yeah. think it'd be weird for you to host it. I feel like you're the good in between. No, you're so right. I'm the middle for and you every have a, single you event. You have a really long driveway and you have like a spacious backyard spacious is the most kind thing you've ever said it's the size of a shoebox but (laughs) i would like to say i bridge the gap between all events all siblings yeah Yeah. i'm like because all family feel come like would come to yours but then you're also kind of friends with danielle's friends Mm, so like if you invited them it wouldn't be weird okay yeah this is not a bad idea i but i actually am on board with what you said maybe if i just like asked for a little bit more help i could yeah because you're bad at that you don't ask for help yeah, I'm getting better. Good job. Since becoming a mom, I'm getting better. Mm. Yeah. This is a four like, week. I'm new hosting thing. I'm hosting two baby showers this fall and I'm asking for help because it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you That's ask good. like some people to bring certain stuff, like maybe mom yeah. and dad to rent the tables, like stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Disperse it. Right. My but problem- I am gonna let you know right now that week, whenever it is, I am busy, so don't ask for my help. <laughs> 
It would be towards the end of October. So anyways, <laughs> back, to, back to traditions, back to traditions. So we do that every year. Yeah. Right. And it's super fun. And I also I feel like a tradition that we had maybe when we were younger was the gigantic leaf piles. Because we have oh, pictures yeah. mm-hmm. of all of us in these leaf piles. Mm-hmm. Um, even like Danielle, she was a little bit older, but still like jumping in like big yeah. piles. But the problem I feel like now with almost like the earth is it stays warmer for longer so we don't get as many leaves i feel like oh well, come to my house may, yeah oh. i was gonna say i feel like we don't know yet it just hit october i think it's gonna start now. so it's september yeah. oh well i think yeah, we're batching oh wait no we're not no this is for this week dang it that was gonna be my excuse for messing up i was gonna be like <laughs> so i actually knew that and it's because we're batching <laughs> but it's i meant to say it's almost october like i feel like we're hitting yeah. the prime like yeah. leaves are gonna change yeah because some people are pessimistic and they're like we're not gonna get a fall we're gonna go from summer to winter and i'm like no i don't no, think it's that's already, gonna happen today is a little chillier yeah, well, today yeah. today i'm pretty sure it's supposed to and it's supposed again. to no it's gonna be like 70, 75 like top 75 okay yeah so i think the, i think the leaves just need a sec to feel the cool air and then yeah. we'll start but anyways so we used to yeah do these leaf piles like huge like mm-hmm. i don't know if i was just small i probably was so it looked giant, but I they swear, like big. I could go under, like full, like disappear. Mm-hmm. Oh, you definitely could disappear. Yeah, and we were just uh, jumping it. I think our mom and dad like purposely like didn't rake, and then would just rake them into these huge piles, and we would just like jump mm-hmm. in them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now that I'm older, all I can think about is how dirty it is to like jump in a pile of leaves. Oh, for sure, it's so disgusting. You know, the disgusting. thing is, Dog I poop. still remember the yeah. feeling, like of the leaves. Yeah. I can oh. literally imagine it on my body. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway. that was fun. I think another tradition we had, I don't know if it was really a tradition, but for ha- for Halloween costumes, we always like DIY them for the oh, most part. Yeah. That yeah. It was always such a long process, like three weeks, four weeks of us making these intense costumes. Like my mom pride prided herself on our costumes being good. I will have to say, speak for yourself because I did not dress up for Halloween. I barely dressed up for Halloween. It must have been a me and mom thing. It was you and Lindsay when mom had more time. I like tried, I think it was last year, to find a photo of me in a Halloween costume Mm -hmm. that wasn't from high school or like when I was around that age, could not find a single photo of me. Dude, yeah, what? Dude, I never dressed up. I didn't you really dress up either. The bubble bath. Oh, yeah. that was Lexi. iconic. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like me the and my cool mom, we were like, we just always DIY'd it. Yeah. But I also wanted to like have these really good, unique costumes. Mm-hmm. So True. we did it together. Like we took a laundry basket and then like little, we blew up little pink balloons and like mm-hmm. glued them all around. Yeah, and then I had so like cute. balloons on my head and I looked like I was in a little bubble that's bath. So you also were like the baby, and you were so cute and so it was i'm sure it was fun for mom to like make you you know cute and stuff one of my more iconic halloween costumes i can think of is when me and Lindsay were the starbucks right that's like when it started when mom was like okay we're gonna make our costumes and we can do anything because we did a big trash can like a plastic trash can the big ones Mm -hmm. yeah and we turned it into a big starbucks cup but the problem was keeping them up on us didn't you wear suspenders we we had suspenders but we should have just put handles in there Oh, for yeah. us because they weren't on. that heavy no it was too heavy for oh. the suspenders like it, they wouldn't stay oh up. so like in addition i see yeah yeah but yeah so i feel like that was something that i remember with the childhood mm-hmm. was like always these diy like mm-hmm. costumes that were always really fun yeah to make. yeah i always remember it being so cold on halloween Dude, it's it's so i mean last cold. year it snowed yeah, yeah. on halloween well, sorry to go back i know this isn't about me but i was like <laughs> <laughs> like i was isabel from phineas and ferb and me and mom literally went i remember we went to joanne fabric and bought like the felt pink and made the whole dress from scratch and bow when on earth were you isabel i was a little <laughs> isabel from phineas and ferb I do not remember that. yeah like i literally and like when Who i was, was a little ferb? kid i was a candy no one was ferb i was just isabel i remember the I candy corn her. i was a little candy isabel corn. was with phineas what are you talking about? Isabel's with Phineas. Ferb, Ferb is the green hair. Oh, oh what's, yeah. What's uh, Ashley Tisdale's character? Candace. 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 I was, was confusing Candace and right. Yes. But anyways, and then I was a little candy corn when I was a kid too. Same thing. Made the whole costume like from <laughs> felt. Okay, Lexi, we get it. Yeah, we know. You made every single costume. You, <laughs> you got costumes. We didn't. <laughs> well, you it was my so ideas. Cute. Yeah. So yeah. you you just had this vision and mom made it come to life. Yeah. With, I think it was both of us. But no, yeah. a team effort for sure. But I don't think you were sewing any hems or anything. Mm-hmm. I did. Like I, she would teach me how and oh, I would do oh. it. Interesting. Yeah. A seamstress. 
Yeah. Wow. Mm, Lexi, the costume, costume designer. Year. This and is where my fashion dress. started, was back with my <laughs> Halloween costumes. <laughs> Anyways. Um, uh, kind of tradition, but not with you guys, actually. When I lived in upstate New York, they have apple orchards everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And every, like, I would say September, October, we would go apple picking, like everyone, which you can do that here, too. Mm-hmm. But, like, that's where I was introduced to, like, the apple cider donuts. Mm-hmm. But, like, this one place, like, made them fresh. Mm-hmm. It was in Vermont, which Vermont in the fall everyone talks about it such a vibe it's so cute yeah. so like but like low-key at night it's kind of creepy but mm-hmm. anyway that is some like one of the things that i've tried to do here mm-hmm. in michigan now that i'm back is like apple picking or just like i've never been pumpkin picking but apple because picking, we don't need to yeah that's true yeah i got my pumpkins um hand delivered to me yesterday oh mm-hmm. Wait, we were talking it's officially about past fall. halloween have passed fall Right. So that's my next thing I was going to talk about. Oh, okay. Was <laughs> the pumpkin patch. The pumpkin patch. Grandpa. So our grandpa is a farmer and he started when I was, I think, in f- like third or fourth grade, he s- decided he wanted to grow giant pumpkins. It was just something he wanted to do. So he went on eBay and found these seeds that said that they could grow pumpkins for like over 300 pounds. And he was like, whatever, I'm going to try it. Well, sure enough. It worked. And he started growing giant pumpkins, small pumpkins, squash, gourds, all of the above. Yeah. So one tradition that we always had growing up was our grandpa would always come with a trailer full of pumpkins. And we'd get to pick the and ones And we'd get to want. pick yeah. the ones that we want. And we would always go and watch him c- compete in the county fair that he would enter these big pumpkins in. Mm-hmm. And sometimes he would win because they're literally 500 pounds. He would always but, win. Like, guys, like, I don't think you understand. Every time I show someone a picture of these yeah. big pumpkins, they're in shock. Oh, yeah. you know what, like, you grandpa, can't transport them without, I don't know. I have probably. pictures. No, grandpa literally sent me a picture. He was like, this is for all your people that ask about it. Because I was like, grandpa, Everyone's always so shocked. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's look the at, same photo I have. Yeah, look. <laughs> Dude, that picture. I, I don't know if anyone's going to be able to see it. We can post them. It literally, like, they're insane. So yeah. huge. Like, it's giving, like, James and the Giant Peach. Yes. Oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's, like, a fun fall thing that I feel like it's just, like, a core memory for us. I love it. But, like, now it's, like, we hate going to the store and buying pumpkins because it just doesn't feel no, right. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm, like, my grandpa... He harvests those from his bare hands. Yeah. Shop local, guys. It's true. It's so cute. Support and now he has, he has this whole big like pumpkin patch on the side of the road and you can go there and like you just drop money in a can and you pick whatever you yeah. want. And But he's usually there. Like self-serve pumpkins. Yeah. yeah. He has so many. He showed me pictures yesterday. Yeah. He gave me this actually like Loki kind of made me cry, but not really. But he when he what delivered pumpkins to me yesterday, he gave... um. I got four pumpkins, three orange ones, and then a unicorn pumpkin. Have you seen those pumpkins? They're like light green and white and they're like, they're pretty, they're special. And grandpa was like, okay, those, the two big pumpkins are, two orange pumpkins are you and Brett. And then the small orange pumpkin is probably, I think he said that one's for London, but also the unicorn pumpkin, that one is for London because she's extra special and it's an extra special pumpkin. (laughs) And I was like, wait, that's Aww, really that's cute. cute. That is yeah, cute. Grandpa, I won a contest about a while back in our group chat and never got my hundred dollars yeah. worth of fresh veggies or a big pumpkin delivered oh. to my house. Yeah, our grandpa does he puts these contests in our family group chat <laughs> and he'll be like, if you answer this right, you'll win a giant pumpkin or you'll win vegetables from my garden. And then yeah. if you get it right, yeah, he's never followed I've, up on those. Well, yeah. You just have to schedule your delivery. Well, I feel like if you run the contest, you schedule the <laughs> delivery. I don't know. That's, That's what I'm true. saying. So yeah. should we talk a little bit about current fall? Like we yes. wanted to talk about fall fashion. Honestly, like creating the fall vibe. Oh, yeah. How you can be your best fall self. Self. Before Absolutely. Before we get into winter depression. So everyone lock in. Oh. oh. Well, first it's like holiday season. season. Okay. Sorry. At first it's thankful, <laughs> thankful season. And then okay, holiday. Yes. And then it's the depression. Sure. Yeah. Right. Um, so, Lexi, I know you have some research that you've been doing, yes, right? Yes, I have. For your fall this year? Yeah. Why don't you share some of your things that you've been thinking about and okay, aspiring? Okay, so fall fashion, guys. This is what everyone's been waiting for. It's true. Yeah. I actually take notes during this part. So yeah. let's, I want to let you know, I do get my information from 
sources. Sources. I'm not just making this up on what I think. I use like Glamour, Vogue, like trend analysis is like through like M- the Milan, Paris, and New York Fashion Weeks. Oh. So I actually have been reading about it. So I'm going to talk first about the color trends for the season, okay? Wait, I need to should get we, my note. Can I get my notepad predict? out? Okay, I'm going to say green. Okay. And I'm going to say red, but like a really like cl- like dark crimson red. Mm-hmm. And then I, that's it. I mean, there's there's low key like a lot, like arguably there's a lot, but like the biggest one. So brat green, you're right, because okay. of like that the brat. Charlie XCX. Yeah. Like, but they also said more of a muted green, but that color is really big this season. Corporate gray is really big. Yes, because of like how um like business casual yes. is so mm-hmm. popular. Okay. So and then you're right, it's muddled wine red. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. <gasps> so that but then some people are doing like a purple dark plum oh, is I also love. popular for this season. I love plum. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ballet <laughs> slipper pink is another one. Oh, that's of like course. Yes. Yeah. Right. And then pink. blue skies. It's like, it's like exactly those colors of that chair yeah. is like, very in as well. Okay. There's the butter yellow. They said is still kind of in, but since that's it's so more of like summery. a summary. Yeah. yeah. But people are like moving it into fall. That washes me out. So, okay. Well, okay. I love all of this and I love how easy it is to like incorporate into your wardrobe. Yeah. I feel mm-hmm. like with color, I feel like, personally i've built like a wardrobe that's pretty neutral but then mm-hmm. i'm able to add pops of color so easily because mm-hmm. it is so neutral mm-hmm. like shoes like red ballet flats or like a pop of color with a purse mm-hmm. like i feel like it's easy to incorporate those colors while keeping yeah you don't have to go buy a bunch of new stuff yeah yeah i agree i think the colors of the season aren't necessarily like things you like put on on your whole body it's just a way to like add pops you know yeah. that's like your accessories mm-hmm. so like some, shoes yeah shoes mm, bags yeah. um so some of like the trends that we're seeing is okay. this one i've actually seen is like studs so like studded purses yeah. studded skirts um studded bags i've seen them. oh yeah yeah, yeah. that also ties like in the boots that cassidy has the those fall boots, they had some studying on them, didn't oh, they? Oh, yes. The, yeah. the free people ones, yeah. the suede. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Which I don't know what you guys are talking about. I, I wore them in New York. Oh, maybe. Wait, are you no. Talking, oh, no. I'm talking Big about buckles. your black boots, the buckle boots. Well, oh, that's what I was going to oh, talk about. Black buckles are really in. Yeah. So, like, that yeah. riding boot buckle style. But then mm-hmm. they're also in with, like, belts. So, like, belts yeah. are going to be, like back like kind of like statement mm. buckly belts i i think belts are so essential for outfits i don't understand like if you have jeans and you can see your like mm-hmm. like the button mm-hmm. it's like wear a belt dude i need belts i literally went shopping for belts the other day couldn't find They're cute hard. belts that i liked i found some on amazon that i really liked and i appreciated that they were cheaper mm-hmm. <laughs> shop my amazon storefront <laughs> Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm going to write that down. Belts on Cassidy's storefront. Well, they're not actually on my storefront. I don't <laughs> oh, think. Okay. But like, I think they have some good options for like the basics, like a black with like a gold yeah. buckle, like stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, another one that I think everyone could predict denim on denim is still like oh, yeah. in. It was Love pretty her. big this summer, but denim on denim is still, mm-hmm. still there. Um, denim, just everything. I feel like denim dresses, mm-hmm. denim, even like jumpsuits, yep. like denim purses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Everything denim. They're very pretty. I mean, chunky loafers are still <gasps> in. Oh, I just got loafers, guys. Period. Okay, I had a pair of loafers that broke. They were Steve Madden. So I'm beefing with Steve Madden. Like, literally, like, the, there was a chain on them. The chain, mm-hmm. like, broke off. But oh. I just got new ones. They're Ralph Lauren, I think, from Nordstrom Rack. Like, so cute. They're I like the Hailey Bieber loafer, where they're, like, a little bit of a skinnier silhouette. More of a slender. Yeah, yeah. not too much of a platform. Mm-hmm. But yeah. still enough of a platform that yeah. it's not like a samba mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. But love loafer with a sock. Mm. How Haley does it with mm-hmm. shorts or whatever. Mm-hmm. Sorry, not to just keep going on my own thing, but I love how in the fall. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'll stop. No, keep going. It was just <laughs> funny the way you said that. Okay. I love how in the fall you can do shorts with a long sleeve shirt. Shorts. Yeah, yeah, that's like, true. I love the look of wearing shorts, but also having the long sleeve. I feel like visually, I really like how it balances. Mm-hmm. And then like wearing like a high boot or something or loafers with socks. Like I feel like it just looks. I love high boots and shorts. I yeah, think they're really so like cute. That. It's giving like cowgirl. Yeah. Um, 
I think that's very, very short, limited time, though, because fall does get cold. I know, because I true. love those looks, but it's, it, you, you can, can only, only wear them for, yeah. like, three weeks. It's like, more, you could do it today, like, in yeah. the in-between weather, where it's, like, kind of cold in the morning, but hot during the day. Mm, but then yeah. when it gets too cold, it's, like, you can't really it's do that. It's kind right. of for, like, the West Coast girls, the Florida girls, mm-hmm. the, you know, people that don't really need jackets. Or, like, they their whole winter, all they need is a light jacket. Right. So, mm-hmm. you know, take that how you will if you live in Michigan or you live in Florida. Yeah, be that's, different. that's very true. Um, another one of the trends, which this one I'm going to like try to predict because I feel like I haven't seen it a lot yet, but I feel like it's going to get popular. It's the T-bar shoes. So it's like you have like a strap in the middle of your foot and then you like it's all the way around. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, oh. it's kind of like a heel. Like, or like the Mary flat. Jane. Yeah. The Mary Jane. That's yeah. exactly, yeah. Mm. So that they're saying like that's coming back. I've been yeah. seeing a lot of baby shoes like that. Yeah. But like, that's my algorithm. Mm-hmm. You know what else I've seen a lot of is suede. Like a brown suede. Yeah. Like yeah. specifically with a jacket. Yeah. That's my prediction. I'm predicting that. Okay. Brown. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I feel like suede is timeless. It, it's it kind of one of those things, kind of like fry boots. I don't know if you guys know what fry boots are. I feel like. Th- I don't know. Um, Just look them up one time. F- F-R-Y-E. I feel like they're just one of those staples that every fall you can incorporate it and then like kind of change your outfit around oh, it. But yeah. that. But okay. those are pretty like timeless. the silhouette of a fry boot yeah i would say yeah. yeah like it's slightly altered to turn in so like i looked up fry boots yeah and it's mm-hmm. slightly altered to be turned into like the steve madden boots Correct. that are popular it's, yeah like yeah. the chunky ones but they're okay. they'll last you forever because the quality is so great right but mm-hmm. anyways mm-hmm. yeah suede okay yeah i yeah. just feel like, I like a, suede. a lot of suede like we've got mm-hmm. like a suede purse or like a suede jacket like i don't feel like you see that that often i saw a suede long skirt the other day someone wearing it it yeah. was interesting to me of suede on my body and suede's hard to clean yeah too. that's i suede. hate i had a suede jacket and i could not clean it our ugg suede mm, not, not real i don't know but what? technically yeah I technically think uggs are suede well they're um not real suede but they're like a material that looks like suede yeah what do you mean not real suede i don't know. real suede's really expensive what what are you talking about i don't know anything about suede well one other thing well a few other things like the so like i think shorter like mini purses were kind of in for a while but now like bigger purses that are like kind of slouchy are coming back Mm -hmm. like that bigger purse look and then like country it's called country house chic Mm. But it's kind of like plaids, like lots of relaxed layers, long skirts. It gives like the country vibe. Mm. Kind of like how Blake Lively dressed in It Ends With Us. Oh, kind of. Layers. Yeah. Okay. They actually said Bohemian is coming back, which I think is interesting. (gasps) Because Bohemian. Bro, Cassidy, 2012 Cassidy was the most Bohemian Bohemian. thing you've ever seen. Yeah. But then it also says like preppy and Bohemian. So it's like you could literally do anything. Because I think that like corporate, like relaxed, like you know like Mm -hmm. gray suit style is really in but yeah so those are the things pops of colors cherry reds yeah typical stuff Um, and sambas aren't going anywhere i love sambas. thank you for your research lexi yes this is appreciated for your service i will i have to just confirm uggs are suede they are treated but suede yes oh wow they are real suede i Um, just feel like the suede material for shoes is so different than the suede material for out like clothing that's like they don't even seem the same in my head well it's thinner the adidas campuses are suede yeah and they do not at all feel the same as like a suede jacket that i have yeah so i'm sure there's different kinds of suede too probably depending on where they get it from yeah. yeah and plus you're like the campuses Shoot. are like colored yeah whereas like i feel it. like is suede like brown is kind of the natural color because i think so it, it oh that was leather. another that was another color of the year i forgot it was it was sand it's like a, the sand color okay like that I tan bad in sand sorry i, I do forgot too about that. it's like the same color as my skin it's not this it's like more yellowy it depends. It depends for me. I can look yeah. okay in it. it just, I think I can't be full. I have to like do my blush a certain way in order to like look good. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, and this it. like blue sky color that's in like that light baby blue. Mm-hmm. I beef with that color so hard. What? You would look so it, good. No, it's not that I don't think I look good. She doesn't good. know what bottoms it, to it's wear. It's just like you wear them like black oh. or gray, but then you have to have specific pants. Like What's you wrong with just white? You can wear them with denim. White is too summery in my opinion. Like white linen pants. Like you can, but for fall, like white seems like <laughs> Cassidy wearing white on white. No, like I'm, I'm just saying. White white I'm just saying. You know how I rule like, oh, don't wear white after Labor Day. Like obviously what? that's not real. White pants after Labor Day. 
Do you, you never know why heard that? that? Wait, no, I've never. I heard just that. heard. I just heard why that rule started, and it had to do with um because Alexis Espinosa <laughs> thinks that she knows no. everything about white pants. No, but I'm <laughs> just saying, like that color, like it's like you can't throw it on with jeans. It, like, I I agree. I think it's hard, and it but just I think me out. with your hair color, black. It's, in my hair color, black as well. <laughs> I think it just looks good yeah, with our color. Uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I should figure it out. I mean, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, lock it in. Anyways. What do you mm-hmm. have to say, Danielle? Well, no, I saw this the other day. I wanted to make sure I quoted it right. But um, the reason that you didn't wear white after Labor Day was it said, it said streets in the late 1800s were made of dirt and assured that you would be covered in dirt if white was worn. <laughs> Thus, those who had enough wealth to leave town for the summer wore white through the season. If you wore white after Labor Day, it was considered that you were showing off how much money you had. Oh, okay. So mm-hmm. I'm rich. Oh, because cool. I'm wearing exactly. white after Labor Day. Right. I had I thought it had something to do with sailors. Like sailors are popular in the summer and like not in the fall. So no more white. <laughs> it's an interesting <laughs> prediction. Huh. Anyways, mm-hmm. so that's the fall fashion. Yay. Love it. Yeah. Love it. I'm go get a new closet. Well, here's my thing. And obviously sweaters. I didn't oh, say cool. that, but obviously sweaters. So right. yeah. Go. Um, my thing is I feel like my wardrobe, I look at it, I want to wear nothing. Like, do you guys ever, like, get at that point where you look in your closet and yes. you're like, why do I have any of these clothes? Like, I literally don't know why. Mm. Dude. I'm about to donate everything I have and just, like, spend a bunch of money at Zara because I'm, like, I'm so over this right mm. now. I actually think I have mental issues when it comes to clothes, so I, like, yeah. can't even, like, you give guys. any Like, traumatized. Right now. No, you yeah, I mean? like, I actually have a problem. Like, if I can't find something to wear, like, I will not leave or I, like, yeah. cry or it makes me the worst mood ever. Mm. I've been like that since I was a kid, so. Yeah, it's true. I can't, but, like, I've come to the point where I do the same. I, like, don't like anything. I do genuinely donate it all or yeah. just give it to Plato's. But if Plato's doesn't take it, I donate everything and then oh, I just go same. thrift new stuff. Yeah. If if Plato doesn't ta- doesn't take it, like I do not even look through what they didn't take. I, I just, just donate Yeah, because it. it's already gone. I do yeah. that too. Yeah. Just um, after knowing how it actually works, I'm like, I don't care why you didn't take it. Yeah. yeah. I never yeah. ask for an explanation. Because I, yeah. it's whatever. Yeah. Another trend that I saw, I hope I'm saying it correctly. I think it's like a Norwegian sweater is oh. what it's called. But it's like something about the sleeves that makes it like that certain hold on are they like are they like a little wider sleeve i think potentially like a tube wait almost like a tube shape while you're looking for that i have one thing rolled up jeans one roll up with baggy jeans i've seen that a lot it's like it's like really baggy jeans and then you like so they're like over the foot and you literally like roll it up once i've seen not just one leg rolled no 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 no. like you just it's not like rolled 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 it's just like one roll up so both legs yes symmetrical yes okay but i've seen that a lot on tiktok and i actually saw like two people doing it today like in mm. my classes and i was like so this is definitely a thing okay mm. you have to have long enough pants to do that. and that's my problem i have long ish legs yeah and i have to order things in long mm. and then like i'd have to do the roll up from there but i'd have to order them extra long i'm like i'm lucky enough I, if i get longer long enough pants to yeah. yeah i do struggle to find pants long enough for my legs as well yeah. i feel like they always end up my ankles yes like from abercrombie you have short legs no i don't for my body i have long legs yeah i think okay yeah, I just feel like from Abercrombie, like I have to order them in long. Yeah, because otherwise Abercrombie dre- jeans shrink as well. In case like anyone was lot, wondering, yeah, yeah. So like whatever size you are, always size up like multiple sizes because they will shrink. Or just don't buy it from them if they're gonna do that. It's that true. Like I've off. stopped. Yeah, I like my Abercrombie jeans. I'm wearing them right now. Yeah. Well, good for you. I, I bought can't. same. I, like I bought two pairs. They shrink so much. I can't yeah. even wear them. I don't. Yeah. I don't wash my same. jeans a lot though. Like I don't get them super dirty right. i probably wear them like so you're not a natural spiller no i'm not <laughs> right. well i feel like you should have the option to wash your jeans if you want to you shouldn't be afraid they're gonna shrink yeah but i hang up yeah. my jeans like i bought these yeah. levi's and i hang them up now my i'm a responsible queen good for you my favorite I'm jeans adult. are the motel rocks jeans the i yeah, got the they're I low rise too. ones mm. and i love the low rise ones i have we both have like high rise mm-hmm. ones but the low rise ones are so good for my long legs. Hmm. They're perfection. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they don't shrink. Okay. But they're also like a hundred something dollars. So oh. keep that in mind. Cool. So what are some other fall things that we're doing this year? Lexi, you shared your fashion stuff. Cassidy, did you have any notes? Oh, of course. I made a pumpkin spice homemade syrup for my drinks. Ooh. Yes. That sounds good. Oh, 
It's very good. Yeah. Of course. Um, and me and Lexi were actually talking today about making pumpkin cream cheese. Yeah. Oh. We really... <laughs> That, I, I feel like that would be. I don't. Know. I feel like we that'd be so easy. What's what are those people that used to churn butter? Butter churners? Um, um Amish people? <laughs> <laughs> no. Used to churn butter? Yeah, like that was a thing back. You know, like someone's right. job was to churn butter. Yes, bro. the churners. <laughs> yeah, the churners. Anyways. Yeah, we really are just out here with our hopes and dreams. But I did make pumpkin syrup for my drinks. It's like, it's really easy. It was just like pumpkin puree and then you put brown sugar and like a little bit of water and then you put it over the stove and just like simmer it and then you store it yeah um and i put it in like mainly chai i don't drink coffee but i feel like it'd be good in coffee as well yeah um so that's been a fun little thing i feel like it just elevates the fall yeah Yeah, like a fun syrup yeah it's just like well i think in general fun activities for fall is baking fall things like yeah i applesauce Apple mm-hmm. cider, you can mm-hmm. make it at home. Apple crisp, mm-hmm. an apple pie, pumpkin, a pumpkin pie, pie, pumpkin bars. In my yeah. opinion, squash, pumpkin loaf. In my opinion, <laughs> I think apples get skipped over, and a lot of times people just go straight to pumpkin stuff. I think apples need to have their moment. I love apples, and then we move <laughs> move to the pumpkin stuff. So <laughs> right now we're in apple pie season. And then next will be pumpkin pie. Yeah, agreed. Mm. I like pumpkin, like pumpkin spice lattes, but like actual pumpkin, no. Mm. Like pumpkin pie, no. Yeah. I'm not eating something that's pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin pie for me is so dense. I need like a fourth of a slice. I mm. can't, I don't know. Oh, but I do like like pumpkin donuts and that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's just mm. pumpkin pie for me. I'm just pumpkin yeah. pie hater. That was, so one of the things on my list was actually literally just baking. Yeah. Like, honestly, that's probably like the main thing for me in the falls. Mm -hmm. falls (laughs) okay in the fall um like yesterday i just sliced a bunch of apples and put them in freezer bags and i'm just gonna like make apple crisp whenever i can because i just feel like it's such a classic fall dessert Mm -hmm. and it's literally so easy yeah you just like put it in a pan put some brown sugar oats yeah whatever on top of it it's already gone too far for me oh and then you (sighs) bake it dude it's so easy i I have beef with baking you guys I have beef with everything you guys it's not that hard no it's not hard and like it's so fun like the idea of it seems so fun and then like I always feel like things never turn out how I want them to turn out do you follow the directions yes obviously I follow the directions my my problem is my oven doesn't work your oven's weird (laughs) no Uh, what do you mean allegedly well Cassidy's oven like gets too hot and then it like burns everything and I swear it's not me I follow everything to a T right and like oh (laughs) I mean, I will mute you, Lexi. Like, <laughs> oh. I threaten it, but like, I'm not afraid. <laughs> that we lose every viewer. So <laughs> please lock in. Oh, interesting. That's I'm very kidding. interesting. Comment below if you're here just for Lexi. <laughs> All right. So the anyway. comments are blowing up currently. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. Back to the apple crisp. Yeah. I don't know. Just baking. Yeah. Yes, like, period. find your staples. Mm. Make them in the fall. I don't know. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I love you. Stuff like that. I Agreed. love a day of apple picking get like the apple cider pumpkin donuts mm-hmm. and then the drive to see the fall colors we yeah. did that last year yeah, that was really and it fun. was so fun yeah. yeah also my advice is space it out like don't go buy apples and make apple crisp and fall colors all in the same, one, same day like you can do it in multiple it's days true. True. so like yeah. you have more stuff to do also yeah. or go multiple multiple times yeah you can go multiple times why not do different things like applesauce and apple crisp you know mm-hmm. but i have a su- suggestion a fall hot girl walk Okay. So, like, you do it in the summer, right? But you also can do it in the fall. Like, bundle up if it gets chilly, the leaves. Like, find, like, mm-hmm. one that goes to the woods and have a hot drink. Cute. Heck, yeah. Some Love people that. do, like, picnics in the fall, too. I've seen mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big picnic person. If I I'm touch grass, I break out in hives. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> I just don't like the <laughs> process of packing everything yeah. in, like, a cooler. and. I would lo- yeah. I like to sit on a blanket and eat if I just go buy the food. Like, if yeah. I go buy a piece of pizza or something, I can, like, sit outside and eat it. But I'm not I'm not gonna like make myself food to go sit with bugs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's just me though. Um, real quick going back to the fall fashion, are the platform Uggs gonna still be in, you think? I would say so. I don't know if necessarily platform will be, but I don't think Uggs are gonna like go the out. mini Uggs. Yeah, I think those are for sure okay. gonna be in still. So. Cool. I saw that like the platform like clog uh, shoes. Yeah. What, like the Birkenstocks? Uh I think I saw the starts with the D. What's the boot you used to have? 
Docs? Docs. Oh. Those. I've seen a lot of those, and they're cute in person. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because, like, that loafer look is in, which yeah. is, like, that, like, leather. Yeah. Like, leather is, like, really in still. I mean, I think those leather jackets, like, leather jackets are still going to be in, but I saw, like, different materials, like, bomber mm. jackets. Like you said, like, suede jackets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I just got a... Uh, <laughs> like a varsity jacket kind of yeah oh. i'm so excited to wear it because i feel like it's such a fun accessory like it just makes your outfit so interesting because mm-hmm. i love like i want to strive to do like a simple top and then like fun accessories you know mm-hmm. i just was like mm. interesting yeah. Yeah. yeah this is new for me yeah something new for me this year is um everyone's always said that gilmore girls is like the fall show of the year I'm watching it for the very first time. I'm into it. Dude. I need to try to start I, it again. Dude, I, you used to just put it on for the aesthetic. You yeah. never actually paid attention. That is so Cassidy. Like, I would come that over so and like, she'd just have Gilmore Girls on in the back, but like, I, I've i seen the yeah. show three times. <laughs> and I would laugh, and she'd be like, what? And I'd be like, are you even watching? Okay, she's so, like, no. No, my problem was I started watching it, and then I started to just put it on while I was doing stuff, and then I stopped paying attention, you have but to, I would still let it run. You have to like pay attention because the storyline like you have to know what's going on yeah Yeah. it's good it's not just a vibe because i catch myself doing that like like i I think friends is just a vibe like you could throw it on and maybe not know what happened last episode yeah because each episode's 24 minutes long yeah Yeah. so but this is yeah it's 42 minutes the storylines are important and lorelei's funny like you gotta pay attention to her humor and yeah yeah it's good i i'm into it it's such a good show interesting like the interesting facts about that show is crazy you know they had like a vocal trainer so that they could talk as fast as they do in the show that makes sense because they talk really fast Mm -hmm. that's crazy yeah like they're the whole thing is like they're talk really fast and they make like a lot of like witty like comparisons and they're always referencing things and the writer of the show would try to like make references like the whole point was sometimes it wouldn't make sense but they knew the audience wouldn't know right and it was like just to like but they try to just like stump the actors and actresses and like in interviews they were like yeah half the time i didn't even know what i was saying yeah like i'm just talking because like the lines they she writes is so like crazy. it makes so much sense yeah because half the time i'm like what are you even talking about yeah it's such a vibe though like mm-hmm. i'm so glad that i'm watching it right now you should start it you'll like it okay it's so good is it based on a book i don't know can more girls i don't oh, think okay. so mm. but yeah so let's know. see are there any other like fall vibes like fall indulgences fall things that we're gonna be doing i mean people really like like spooky movies i'm not personally into that true but some people really like like good halloween like spooky Mm -hmm. movies i love i talked about this earlier but limited series there's halloween there's like halloween limited series they're all on netflix brett and i have watched every single one of them they're so good the haunting of the hill house Uh uh-uh it's, it's so good. <laughs> That's so scary. It Listeners is do not watch so that. Good. <laughs> oh no, I'm gosh. telling you. And then there's another one. It's called The Lady. I think it's called The Lady of the Lake. <laughs> Uh, that sounds scary. It's no, I don't even need so to know what that is. I like I enjoy swimming. So no thanks. <laughs> I enjoy the water, so yeah. I'm Wait, good. It yeah, was I'm good. I think it was called The Lady of the Lake. But Brett and I watched one one Halloween and then another one the next Halloween. It was so good. It's the same director. He made both of them. Wait, is Stranger Things coming out soon? I, I think it's 2026. Are you Dude. kidding me? They got to lock in. Yeah. Because I feel like Stranger Things is such a fall it, vibe. It is. They it said is. that each season of Stranger Things is basically like making an entire Time. movie. Yeah. And that's why it takes them so long. But I'm like, you literally have lost my interest. Oh, I have no idea what happened. Well, I, oh, you no, just, lost dude, you just rewatch the show. That's yeah. how they get it. That's how they get you. And then their reviews go up. I didn't like, do that last time. What? I did. But I've, I love Stranger so Things. They're so good. I watch it every year, but I'm just... Yeah. You don't rewatch it. No, I, I don't. I always just rewatch the season before. Yeah. Um, I had something that could be folly. It definitely might be dependent on where you live, but wine tasting is really big in the fall. Oh yeah, like yeah. especially in Michigan. If you live oh in Michigan, gosh, Traverse City. Oh. Yeah. Not you, like sorry. Okay, so don't be rude. It's fine. We can go to Robinettes. Yeah. I feel like yeah. The, oh yeah, Robinettes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Also, like. I actually, I know it might be more for like, I did this in high school, but haunted houses are kind of fun. Like yeah. a Friday, Saturday. If you can find a niche one, I think they're fun. Mm. Or but a corn I hate maze. the overpacked ones. Yeah, corn mazes. Like yeah. again, if you find a niche one that's not too overdone. Yeah. Like I know yeah. there's like a corn maze in Caledonia and I've like never been to it. But like the one at Robinette's, it's like I've done it. Yeah. Right. So I like don't participate in spooky activities like that. Mm-hmm. I enjoy mm. sleeping. And so I don't want to like be laying awake at night thinking about this bloody person i saw in a corn maze when i was 12 like i don't want to oh yeah it's very specific 
I mean, <laughs> it's just like a little too visually yeah. scary for yeah. me. Like at least like in a movie or something, I can know like, okay, this is like, uh, you know, it's fake. Mm-hmm. Like I know, oh, that's CGI. In real life, I'm like, bro, my eyes were open and I saw that. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. I feel like reading is such a fall vibe. Oh yeah. It's yeah. like a, read it's a good really thriller. every season, but I feel like a good spooky yeah. mystery. Local person missing is a good like book. Is it local woman look local woman missing? Yeah, yeah. I have that. That's a good one. It's good. I like that one for fall. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um by the way, it's not The Lady of the Lake. It's The Haunting of Bly Manor was the TV series I watched that was so good. But it is about a woman in a lake. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. I know <laughs> you, you guys want to do that, do that. Yeah. But to each their own. Yeah. It's a good couple show if you like want something to watch yeah. with your significant other mm. that you mm-hmm. both like. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Um, this is an update. Sorry, this is not have to do with fall at all. You know how like a few episodes ago you were talking about slang you learned? Yeah. I did in fact ask multiple people if glazing was inappropriate and every single person said yes. Perfect. So th- I, I forgot you even mentioned that word. But so. it's because yeah. like I was like, maybe there's different meanings to it. Yeah. And like th- I think there is. But I like asked. Oh, and I was okay. like, would you say glazing's like an, and everyone was like, Yeah. Okay, so. perfect. Well, I heard someone use it not inappropriately. Yeah. So I'm like, hmm. okay. Yeah. But anyways, I saw the update. You know cool. That. So You're yeah, welcome. listeners do not use that word. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I would say the last thing for fall, like that I had in my notes was I'm trying to get better about my routine. I think fall is kind of always a nice time to reset. Like, like, mm-hmm. how are you managing your time? Like, you know, what's your schedule look like? I think with a newborn, it's literally, you literally are just like trying to manage and yeah. like actually have time for yourself. But I'm, I'm working on that right now. Like, mm-hmm. what do my mornings look like? Like, when am I getting up and what am I doing when mm-hmm. I wake up? And it's yeah. been refreshing. Um, yeah. Like you might say it's the time to lock in. It's yeah. like grind season. Yeah. Cause, Be- because in the, f- in the summer it's like you want time off. You want to enjoy. Yeah. You yeah. Want. The fall it's like, okay, let's get back to it. Want to get back to my routine. routine yeah. yeah. Like for like coffee shops are a big fall thing too. Like especially mm. for me, I'm in school. Yeah. So it's like, okay. Like, yeah. Like I wake up for classes and then after like I can go to like a cute coffee shop and do homework. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it is like, I'd say routine based. Yeah. More of like enjoying time with people like indoors and like doing stuff like that like but also being outside Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i don't think i have anything else i feel so ready to just turn into a big orange pumpkin yeah let's go do fall stuff right after this if we have nothing else to say i have something funny are you guys dressing up for halloween this year oh my gosh yes and i had a really funny idea for me and charlie Are you, are you gonna, gonna say it, it or is it a secret? Or are you just gonna sit there? Well, what are you gonna wear it to? I think it just was, for a photo, or well, are you going to see, a party? That's the problem. I have no parties. <laughs> I have no friends. So it's like, why would I dress up? My idea was to be um, Aang and Katara from Avatar, and then Charlie Appa. has. Yeah, and then Oppa for dog. obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then Charlie's so like cute. head is like shaved, so he would do like the blue like. So you put an arrow on his head. On his head, yeah, and I would be like the ice. Only if you use glow in the dark paint. That's actually funny. Isn't it cute? I feel like it's perfect. Yeah. I feel like for the pumpkin carving contest, I don't know, costumes is too much. You already have to do a whole pumpkin. I dude. wish we yeah. had like a c- costume contest. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. We should do like a murder mystery party. Should I host that this year? Yeah. Like Your house is murder as, mystery. I know. It kind of, I feel like my house is perfect for like a spooky fall vibe. Yeah. Like, everyone comes as like a different character you get assigned your character beforehand and like you get like a whole like backstory on your character so when you show up you have to act like that person hmm. and then we find out who the murderer is yeah that would be does fun. that sound fun that is fun i'm down danielle you don't sound down no it would be fun i was just thinking about like the vibe like would you only have candles lit in your house or would you have the lights turned on only candles. i think i'd obviously. have candles I think I'd have lights and then I'd have someone go in the basement and act like the lights go off and like yeah. do all the mm-hmm. break everything. Like no the breakers. Sparrow, dude. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm talking and about. then we'd have to do candles only. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. It would be fun. Do you think it'd be fun? I, I was just, I wasn't not down. I was literally like thinking through like logistic things in my head. Cause that's right. not, I've that's always wanted insane. to go to a, I've always wanted to go to a murder mystery party. Yeah. They do seem fun. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And I think there's um, a website you can literally buy a murder mystery pack. Yeah. And it you does can. the whole plot for I you. Think we looked it up last year, you and yeah. I, cause we were going to do it and yeah. something happened. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do it. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to do the pumpkin contest. <laughs> okay. So Danielle's pumpkin contest. You're a murder, murder mystery. mystery. I think I'm just going to ask, Mom, you're listening to this on Wednesday. If you want to help me with the pumpkin contest, <laughs> let me know because I'll host. I asked I Mom if she would host. Bribed but to help. 
bribed. That's yeah. Lexi's version of saying, pay me. <laughs> I mean, really, Insane. if there's multiple people, I just need like just like an hour to help. Or like if you see me to hold London, I'll do that. Oh, actually, that'd be helpful. Yeah. Like I'll babysit London while you set up. Will you change your diaper? Yes, bro. Oh, okay. I was a nanny. Do people forget? I was That's a what nanny. I said. But then someone was like, oh, the kids were older that you No, watched. they were not. They were when I started watching them, they were literally six I months old. I thought you had a newborn. Yeah. Two. They were twins and then a three year old. <gasps> I literally named twin from diapers 15 to 17 and wow. everyone forgets like <laughs> twin I, diapers sounds horrible. I was fine. Wow. Anyways. Um, so now that we talked about that, I want to share something. I'm trying to figure out what to have my daughter be for Halloween. It's her first Halloween. And it's, I feel like there's a lot of pressure. I feel like there's no pressure because it, she's not going to remember. It. Also, she just probably is not going to go to But you always see the pictures of like your first Halloween. I remember my I have pictures. No picture. I have none either. Really? I was a pumpkin. Yeah, I know. Obviously. Danielle, you were the first kid. I think, oh. I think you should make her a pumpkin. I think, I think so, that's too. The You're the answer. pumpkin. She's the first kid. So, yeah, you got to do it all with her because you got all, all of it done. I was the fourth kid. So people didn't even know my birthday. <laughs> so <laughs> we did celebrate her. Yeah. No, that's not, that's not that. a wrong story. People yeah. didn't know my birthday. <laughs> so besides Cassidy. Yeah. Okay, okay Lexi. Lexi. It's my girl. Lexi, tell your story, okay. and then we gotta end this episode. It's a story. It's not like a story, a story, but like kind of. Oh. So like last night, I was like on the phone with Nick, right? Obviously, long distance duties, mm -hmm. and he's like laughing to himself. He's like, oh, "This tweet reminds me of you," and I'm thinking it's gonna be like a cute little tweet, like, "Oh, like it's like a puppy her when she's like sad, and it's like a cute little meme," you know? Yeah. No, <laughs> it's making my boyfriend stop everything he's doing to look at a picture of a really big lemon I saw in 2019. And then he has to go, wow, babe, that's such a big lemon or else I act weird for seven hours. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, so don't do that. Don't oh. be rude. So he's saying you're dramatic. Yeah. And then I was like, well, yeah, if I show you something, you have to react accordingly. Yeah. Right. So but I, Charlie will show me things or tell me things. And sometimes I kind of mentally space out and I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's what I'll say is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he, I didn't realize, but he was like kind of dissing himself as a joke. He was like, you know, <laughs> insulting himself, which he never does. And naturally I go, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he was like, <laughs> did you just agree with me? <laughs> and I was like, no, like, <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Like, <laughs> Cassidy, I do the same thing. If I'm on the phone with Brett and I start saying, yeah, yeah. he's like, <laughs> he's like, are you listening to me? And I'm like, oh, sorry. Can you repeat that? <laughs> like, uh, that's my, yeah, I'm not Dang, really I'm listening. The opposite. What? What do you mean? You're I feel always like I'm listening? always locked in on the combo. And I feel like he will do that to me. And then I'm like, what did oh, I say? Right. And mm. then he's like, uh, uh, how, uh, how, uh, and then he says, and I was like, yeah. So I said that five minutes ago. How long have you been dating? Almost six months. Right. I've been with Brett for um, eight years. Yeah, and I guess. after a little while, they start to repeat themselves. Oh. And we love them. Probably. Well, I, but Charlie just finds the need to tell me like every sport thing that goes on in the world. And I try to listen. I genuinely do. Yeah, but I'm yeah. like, can you give me some plot you don't or something yeah. so that I can be interested? Because mm -hmm. I don't really care that this baseball guy just hit 50 50. I don't know what that means. Right. Yeah, like, dude, what's 50 50? Yeah. yeah. And then he Who explains knows? it, and I'm like, Okay. okay. Yeah. Period. I guess. For yeah. me, it's Brett's work oh, stuff. Robots. Football things. Oh yeah. Fall. You football. can do football Sundays. <laughs> making a big deal. Who out of are that. we? That's literally like such a big thing. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I love fall. Going to mom's house, watching the football game, cozying up to a blanket. Yeah. Maybe on my laptop. Like what we do. Yeah. Mm. She doesn't really watch. But yeah, but like okay. football's there. Yeah. I'm football is like my white noise machine. Yeah. Oh, it puts me to sleep. We did that. We literally did that yesterday. Yeah. Chris Collinsworth just putting you right back to sleep. Yeah. 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 I like to do that, but I actually, I well, I only watch the Dolphins. I won't watch another team. Yeah. Sorry. I try, but I can't focus. It's all right. Okay. Everyone's got their things. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you guys so much for listening to this week's episode. I hope you feel all fallout. out. I hope you feel cozy. We hope you go buy a candle white pumpkin from all the hazelnut <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening we'll see you next week bye, bye.